Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So I have some very interesting news right now. What's going on in the modding community and with Ghost Recon Breakpoint. The modding community has finally gotten to a point where they are creating custom mods. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. Nexusmods.com slash Ghost Recon Breakpoint slash mods. Check them out for yourself. So first we have here, shout out to Faust, someone that I talk to a lot in the community. He has created a surefire suppressor rework for the hive silencer. So what we have here is a custom working suppressor, something that he's taking, creating and replacing for the hive. And this is it right here. This is the custom suppressor. We also have something that's very interesting and caught my eye, the Koenig Modern Warfare 2 helmet and mask. This is very interesting how this is put together for this mod, as you can see with these images right here. This looks pretty cool, man. This is actually really dope. And for those of you out there, huge Modern Warfare fans, you have now this really cool helmet face mask that you could put on. So the author of Koenig's helmet uh, from Modern Warfare 2 is telling us that the battery pack stays multicam regardless of the camo pick mostly because it lacks certain texture to make it not look awful with camo. Uh, he might have issues equipping night vision. He's not exactly sure. And this is the most important for those of you who are thinking about downloading this. Using this mask makes first person ADS basically unusable. You have to shoot in third person. He's trying to figure out a solution for that. It makes it a little too broken to make the mod actually useful because sometimes you want to zoom in to your scope and now you can't with this mask so that's definitely has to get fixed we'll see if he's able to do that as far as the description this is going to replace wolf mask c it's going to be really interesting to see if the modders eventually can actually add to the game add things to the ui for you to pick or is it always going to be a swap out one for one now as far as this goes with these custom mods now being able to create custom mods like this suppressor for ghost recon breakpoint i was talking to someone and they said it is possible it is possible in the near future get this guys that with some work some dedication and some talented people within the modding community please lord let them work on this we might actually be able to swap out assets as far as buildings and things like that so imagine going through ghost recon and an entire compound the assets are swapped out textures the buildings are all changed maybe it looks more nitty gritty doesn't look like all the scale tech type buildings so we are going to be on the lookout within the next year two years if we're still playing this game waiting for the next ghost recon game and modders are still working on this i mean could you imagine if we had mod support for this game the types of things that people would create for us to, to play in this game. I still think that Ubisoft moving forward needs to get more in line with companies like Bethesda and really support the modding community. Start to make tools for your games and allow people to produce content for games that you might abandon or stop working on. Imagine Ghost Recon now. We haven't had content, what, two years has it been since Motherland dropped? Uh, it's It's been a long time and time is going fast. Imagine if we had modders that could actually keep pumping out content, something like Arma 3 where maps could be made and things like that. It's really crazy, but whatever, I'm going off on a, on a tangent now. I digress. Anyway, uh, there's other things here as well as uh, HK416 Authentic Warfare Sound ported to the SIG 516. So finally, I was, I was waiting for um, Splinter to work on this. I feel like all of the main weapons in the immersive mode campaign should have their sounds modded and changed to sound a lot better. I think it, one is the G36, the 516 you pick up a lot. M4 obviously was changed by UB, we don't need that. But all of those, the AK uh, Splinter did, so that was kudos to him for that one. But yeah, I mean, I'm trying to keep up with the modding stuff and these look really good. Like I said, shout out to Faust for the Surefire Suppressor, his custom mod, and then shout out to uh, Makimoto Jin, for the Koenig Modern Warfare 2 helmet and mask looks really dope. Get in game and download these. Uh, download these, get in game. Let me know what you think about them. If you need 
a tutorial to do this at this point guys you you might just be popping up on this video and be like oh i don't know how to do this this is my first time drop me a comment i'll make a new video going over it because it's basically straightforward at this point if you've been in the modding community for this one right here you see it's data pc patch 01 that's the one you're basically going to unpack and uh you're gonna then unpack the teammate so if you don't know what you're doing hit me up on discord drop a comment down below maybe i'll make another video actually showcasing how to do all of this and uh if no one says it then i'm gonna assume you guys are good to go and have fun I've definitely download this it looks cool i think i'll download it and maybe make a gameplay video with it for you guys and that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, I've taken up enough of your time. Shout out to the modding community and the people creating these tools. You guys, you guys are doing God's work for us who love the Ghost Recon franchise and love Ghost Recon Breakpoint. You guys are really allowing people to utilize their creativity and their talent and make things for this game that we want to see. And I hope it keeps going, man. I really do. So that's all, ladies and gentlemen. I'm out of here. Everybody have a great day, and I will see you all in the next video. All right, guys. Peace.